The gentleman yields back. For what purpose does, does Mr. Johnson seek recognition? Move to strike the last word. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you. I rise in opposition to the amendment. Um, I'll note that last night the Atlanta Braves made a heck of a lot of uh, noise in winning the World Series, but that is outside of the scope of this hearing, as is the supply chain economics and uh, vaccine mandates, uh, mask mandates, critical race theory, abortion, immigration, all of the other uh, hot button issues that uh, my colleagues like to press. Uh, those things are outside of the scope of this uh, piece of important legislation that protects consumers and workers and levels the playing field for those uh, people, the little guy, against the big businesses that my friends are working so hard and diligently on the other side to protect. Uh, I ask my colleagues to vote against this amendment and to pay short shrift to all of the amendments that are about to be introduced on critical race theory and vaccine mandates and, uh, and uh, mask mandates and stay-at-home orders and, and the like. Uh, and with that, I yield back. Would the gentleman yield to me? I yield to the ch chair. I, I thank the gentleman for yielding. I just want to say that uh, I agree with Mr. Tiffany, and, and he made an excellent point. Everything is included in this amendment. A person in industry affected by labor shortages or supply chain disruptions. Anybody can claim that that is the case. Um, and any industry may have labor shortages at any time. And the supply chain may dis be disrupted at any time. And if the supply chain is disrupted, it affects every single industry. So, in effect, this amendment simply repeals the bill. And I uh, oppose it for that reason because I think the bill is very necessary for all the reasons that have been stated uh, this morning and early this afternoon so far. And I yield back to the gentleman. I yield back. For what purpose does Mr. Shabbat seek recognition?